Open a new document in Inkscape, and we're going to go to Document Properties. Make sure our display units and our document units are in millimeters. And I'm just making a document size bigger than the object that I have, so I don't have to worry about the document bounds right now. I'm going to create a new grid in the same units. And my material is 5 millimeters thick, so I'm going to use that as my grid and I'm going to make sure every line is 5 millimeters, and I'm snapping because I'm not going to have any measurements smaller than a 5 millimeter difference. Escape, uh, exit out of your document properties, zoom in using control and scrolling. You can pan by clicking on the middle mouse button. We'll select the Bezier Curve tool and select Periaxial Straight Lines. Make sure you get your distance at the bottom of the screen. It will tell you how far you've gone and it will snap to that grid line. Press enter and then escape to make sure you do not continue your drawing because we want individual lines as we continue drawing. Again, this is set at 75. We'll press enter, escape, and then we'll start a new line. And this is 150. You can check at the bottom. Enter, escape and then we'll connect our last set. And now, just to make sure, yes, I have all individual lines. Okay, this will come in handy later. I'm gonna select these all, and since I'm laser cutting this, I'm gonna make sure it's a solid line at 255 red, and our stroke width is 0.2 millimeters. We're gonna create the sides of our uh, box using again the Bezier and straight line curve tool and we're going to draw a line 35 millimeters out enter escape and another 35 millimeters out enter and escape okay I'm going to connect these with a temporary middle line and I'm just going to use that to guide my circle the circle can actually be dragged from the corner from the center and can be constrained by the one-to-one -one ratio by holding control and shift and I'm just gonna hold control and make sure it's a circle not an ellipse I'm gonna select my circle I'm gonna get rid of the fill and now I'm going to lock the aspect ratio and change the width to 18.875 which is the diameter that I need for my circle. Now I need to center my circle on that line. I select both the circle and the line holding shift and I'm going to align it center on the horizontal axis. Be careful if you move one object it will get rid of your alignment so make sure you shift click both objects move them if you need to. Shift click will select them both again and then you can align them on the vertical axis as well. And you can bring your stuff back and make sure it snaps. Now your circle is centered on your line and your object. You can delete that temporary construction line. And now we're just gonna use the B-spline path tool to create a fancy edge. And this is up to you, but just make sure for something like this you want the distance between your points to be equal. And I'll finish it off. And dragging it off is fine, just don't click again. Press enter and it'll finish your path. Okay. Now I have the edge of my tool holder. I'm going to select all of my new lines that I made. Make sure my stroke path is full red and my stroke style is still at point 0.2. Now I'm going to select straight lines, the B spline, the circle, and I'm going to copy, rotate, and paste this guy over. So by clicking the pasted object again, I can use the rotation handles, and then I can click and drag and make sure it snaps to my object. And now I don't have to create the same object twice. Now we're going to create our last two sides. I'm going to create a width of uh, a height of four millimeters and I'm also going to make sure I select the right tool and enter and escape and four millimeters down and that'll give me enough room to laser cut 
And I'm actually going to go over one five millimeter distance because that's going to be inset within the material. And like I mentioned, the material is five millimeters. And that'll make sense a little later. And now I'm just going to create a uh, small curve for design, find my center, bring it down one or two, and finish off my east blind path, press enter. And again, I'm going to select all of those objects. Again, they're separate objects, so I need to be careful. So if I select my two outer lines, control C, copy, control V, paste, click once, rotate. I'm holding control to snap the angle and I can pull my pieces up. If you notice, I'm missing those two short lines and I'm just going to redraw them in to make sure that I have them. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to do is select everything by using Control A. And I'm going to make sure that my stroke is still full RGB 255 red on every object because everything's going to be cut. And then I'm just going to double check and make sure I'm at 0.2 millimeters just so nothing gets messed up. And that'll finalize the first part of my drawing. And I'm just going to save that. That'll save us in Inkscape SVG.